It's story time, it's story time. Do you want to hear a story? It's story time, it's story time. Do you want to hear a story? Hello, hello everyone. I am Suzette and this is Suzette story time for children and their parents and anybody who would love to hear a story. I have a story today called the Miss Nelson Collection. Yes, the Miss Nelson Collection. Since it was close to Halloween, I decided to uh, read this story to you because it has a Halloween touch. <laughs> the kids in room 207 were misbehaving again. Spitballs stuck to the ceiling, paper planes whizzed through the air. They were the worst behaved class in the whole school. Wow. In the whole school. Now settle down, said Miss Nelson in a sweet voice. But the class would not settle down. They whispered and giggled. They squirmed and made faces. <laughs> yes. So they would not settle down. They were even rude during story time. And they always refused to do their lessons. Something will have to be done, said Miss Nelson. Yes, yeah, so she has to think, what is she going to do with those rude children who will not behave? <laughs> what do you think she's going to do? Let's see. The next morning, Miss Nelson did not come to school. <gasps> wow, yelled the kids. Now we can really act up. They began to make more spitballs and paper planes. Today, let's be just trouble, <laughs> they said. Not so fast, hissed an unpleasant voice. <gasps> what was that? Mm -hmm. A unpleasant voice. What? Who could that be? Let's see. A woman in an ugly black dress stood before them. I'm your new teacher, Miss Viola Swamp. <laughs> and she wrapped the desk with her ruler. Where is Miss Nelson? asked the kids. Never mind that, snapped Miss Swamp. Open house arithmetic books. Oh, open those <laughs> Arif arithmetic books. Okay. So we used to call math arithmetic a long time ago. So so, so you'll know <laughs> it's arithmetic. <laughs> Miss Nelson's kids did as they told as they were told, yes. So there, there is the new teacher. Miss Nelson is not there. So do you think, her, her name is Miss Swamp, and do you think that the children are gonna act up? Let's see. They could see that Miss Swamp was a real witch. <gasps> she meant business. Right away, she put them to work, and she loaded them down with homework. Wow, was she a strict teacher? Yes, she was very, very strict. <laughs> uh -oh. So let's see what those kids are going to do. 
Well, we'll have no story hour today, said Miss Swamp. Keep your, keep your mouth shut, said Miss Swamp. Sit perfectly still, said Miss Swamp. And if you misbehave, you'll be sorry, <laughs> said Miss Swamp. Wow. <laughs> This, the kids in room 207 had never worked so hard. <laughs> Days went by and there was no sign of Miss Nelson. Hmm, the kids miss Miss Nelson. <laughs> so they miss their nice teacher, <laughs> Miss Nelson. But Miss Swamp, I don't think they're going to miss her. <laughs> Yes, I don't think they're going to miss her at all. Maybe we should try to find her, they said. Some of them went to the police. <gasps> they went to the police? Oh, my goodness. Detef Detective Mex Mog was assigned to the case. He listened to their story. He scratched his chin. Hmm, he said. Hmm, I think Miss Nelson is missing, Detective Smixmog. Would, would not be much help. <laughs> so he's not going to be much help. <laughs> Let's see who's going to be helpful. <laughs> Let's see. Other kids went to Miss Nelson's house. The shades were tightly drawn, and no one answered the door. In fact, the only person they they did see was the wicked Miss Biola Swamp. <laughs> She'll give us more homework. They they got away just in time. <laughs> So they ran away from Miss Viola Swamp. Yes, they did. And she is coming down the road. <laughs> Maybe something terrible happened to Miss Nelson. Maybe she was gobbled up by a shark, <laughs> said one of the kids. But that didn't seem likely. <laughs> so maybe she was gobbled up by a shark. Do you think she was gobbled up by a shark? Oh, look at those sharks. <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> maybe Miss Nelson went to Mars, said another kid. But that didn't seem likely either. <laughs> So maybe she went to Mars. Do you think she went to Mars? <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> I know, exclaimed one, uh, exclaimed one, no, know it all. <laughs> maybe Miss Nelson's car was carried off by a swarm of angry butterflies. But they, but that was the least likely of all. Wow, look at those butterflies. Look at all those butterflies <laughs> in the car. Do you think she was carried off by a butterfly? Hmm, let's see. The kids in room 207 became very discouraged. It seemed that Miss Nelson was never coming back. And they would be stuck with Miss Viola Swamp forever. <laughs> they heard footsteps in the hall. Here comes the witch, they whispered. Hello, children, someone said in a sweet voice. I wonder who that could be. Do you think it's Miss Viola Swamp? Hmm, or is it Miss Nelson? Let's see. <laughs> Let's see. It was Miss Nelson. 
Did you miss me? Asked, uh, she asked. We certainly did, cried all the kids. Where, where were you? That's my little secret, said Miss Nelson. How about a story hour? Oh, yes, cried the kids. Miss Nelson noticed that during story hour, no one was rude or silly. What brought about the lovely change, she asked. That's our little secret, said the kids. <laughs> Look at all the kids. She said, they said, that's our little secret. <laughs> so, Miss Nelson came back. Let's see what happened. Back home, Miss Nelson took off her coat and hung it in the closet right next to an ugly black dress. When, when it was time for bed, she sang a little song. I'll never tell, she said to herself with a smile. So do you think Miss Nelson was Viola Swamp? I wonder if she was Viola Swamp. Let's see. P.P.S. Detective Mick Smog is working on a new case. He is now looking for Miss Viola Swamp. <laughs> so he's not looking for Miss Nelson anymore. He is looking for Viola Swamp. Where is she? <laughs> yes. So that is the end of that part of the book. So the kids are really, really happy about that part. So we'll read next next time we will read Miss Nelson is back. Because there are so many stories in this book. Wow. So for now we're going to close with this story and we will come back. I will come back and read the next story. Miss Nelson is back. Okay. So, this is the Miss Nelson's collection. So, there's a lot of stories in here. But we only read the story about how Miss Nelson turned into Miss Viola Swamp, the witch. <laughs> goodbye, goodbye. Story time is over. Goodbye, goodbye, I'll see you tomorrow. I hope to see you, what hope to see you, what hope to see you tomorrow. Goodbye, see you tomorrow, and we will come back and finish reading the Miss, the Miss Nelson's collection. Yes, we will finish reading that. It's three classic stories. We'll read the second one when I come back. Bye. Have a beautiful day today. Goodbye.